Hi everyone, today I will be watching National Treasure. So on Patreon I've done a poll for Nicolas Cage movies. I just put in a bunch of titles and this one came out as the winner, but together with another one which is Kick-Ass. Apparently he has a main role in this one and a supportive role in Kick-Ass, so I was like okay. It seems like a good way to decide to pick the movie where he has the main role because it's a Nicolas Cage poll, so here we are. If you want to see Kick-Ass let me know. And also, Raising Arizona scored super high as well. So let me know if you want to see that. Because honestly, those three movies scored like almost the same. And I'm very curious if you want me to watch the other ones as well. More than that, I don't know. So let's just get into it. If you like reactions like these, make sure to like and subscribe. Full reactions you can find over on Patreon. You get a bit polls, like for this movie. Or some exclusives. This month, I've been uploading Moneyball, Singing in the Rain, Mandalorian Season 3. And there's so much more to come. So if you want to check that out on Patreon, thank you so much for considering considering that. Let's go! Oh man, when you were a child and Attic was just full of mystery. Oh my god! I just wanted to know. Well, you're old enough, I suppose. He has the voice of Dumbledore. Was 18. But the looks of um on a night much like it. Sound of music? Charles Carroll was the last surviving signer of the Declaration of Independence. He was also a member of a secret society known as the Mason. Ah, oh, the Masons. Because it was urgent that he speak to the president. Did he talk to him? He never got the chance. Oh, Damn, unlucky. So he took into his confidence the one person he could. My grandfather's grandfather, Thomas. And it's a... A treasure beyond all imagining. Damn. Sometimes you wish you could go back in history. Not to live there, because I think it was quite uncomfortable and dangerous and all of that. But just to see pharaohs and the roman empire over the next century they smuggled it out of europe and they formed a new brotherhood called the freemasons in honor of the builders of the great temple by the time of the american revolution wow uh, race to history i love it over time the clues were lost or forgotten until only one remained the secret lies with charlotte who's charlotte Imagine if it says Alice, and then he goes like, who the f*** is Alice? <laughs> I'm sorry, all the Alices in the world. I really love your name. The all-seeing eye. Symbols of the Knights Templar, guardians of the treasure. They're speaking to us through these. Oh. You know what that dollar represents? Six generations of fools chasing after fool's gold. It's not about the money, Patrick. Come on, son. Time to go. Oh, dad is not having it. Wow, okay. Poor grandpa. Are we knights? You wanna be? Alright. Um hmm. Neil. Oh, I love this moment. Ben Gates, do you so swear? I so swear. I so hundred percent totally, fully, completely swear, grandpa. A cute kiddo. Oh, that sort of vibe of like Lord of the Rings at the beginning, like let's go on an adventure. Is that Sean? I always merely die in everything I play. In my tracking model, Zach. What's his last name? <laughs> Don't go by me. I broke a shoelace this morning. It's, it's mm. bad. Oh, is it? I never knew. Okay. <laughs> wow, if you're a treasure hunter, can you relieve this feeling? That must be insane. No way. Two years ago, if you hadn't shown up, I don't know if ever would have found Charlotte. You would have found it, I have no doubt. They haven't found a treasure though, they have found a ship. But if they just find another clue... 
time she's still sturdy. Reason all that people have trouble in there. Actually slept in there. Ah, we're still sleeping in there. What the fuck? <clears throat> you handled that well. You know what? I feel like you did. Don't diss him. Why would the captain be guarding this barrel? That's a good question. Ew. Oh god, it's just gonna be a clue, I think. Or a super stupid treasure that nobody cares around in the current day and age. Um. It's a Meerschaum pipe. Million dollar pipe? No, it's a clue. They're like, oh damn, I can't go home. I thought you said that the treasure would be on the Charlotte. No, the secret lies with Charlotte. Oh, little miscommunication. The legend writ, the stain affected, the key in silence, undetected. Mr. Matlack can't offend. <laughs> yeah, uh. <laughs> the stain affected could refer to a dye or a reagent used to bring about a certain result combined with the key in silence undetected. The implication is that the effect is to make the it undetectable. Quick. Unless the key in silence could be... Prison. Or it could be, since the primary writing medium of the time was iron gall ink, the pen is just a pen. Why are we brainstorming in freezing weather? Timothy Matlack was the official scribe of the Continental Congress, and to make sure he could not offend the map, it was put on the back of a resolution that he transcribed. A resolution oh! That 55 men signed. That's where we started out right with the guy who was the last, last person to sign. A document of that importance would ensure the map's survival. And you said there were several Masons signed it, yeah? This guy's like, it's a prison! <laughs> <laughs> you spent your entire life searching for this treasure only to have the respected historical community treat you and your family with mockery and contempt you should be able to rub this treasure in their arrogant faces oh man that's such a bad reason to do it right because you don't want to look like a fool we all have our areas of expertise you don't think mine are limited to writing checks do you i arranged a number of operations of oh questionable is that so? legality i would take his word for it if I were you. So don't worry. Damn, this dude is powerful. I'm not going to let you steal the <laughs> Declaration of Independence. From this point on, what whoa, you're going whoa, to whoa, be is a Well, you can't shoot me. There's more to the riddle. Information you don't have, I do. Why are we suddenly being so... Ooh. Oh, ho, ho. You shoot me. I drop this, we all go up. Uh-oh, pressure on all sides. And he doesn't. Oh my god! Is he actually gonna die immediately in the movie too? <laughs> Oh no, he's making it out and they're not! Nicholas! This movie was voted for you! <laughs> you need to make it out! Whoa! Ooh! Okay! Then what are we gonna do? He's gonna steal the Declaration of Independence, Ben. We stop him. I also have no idea where it's stored. I can't imagine it's not that easy to just pick up somewhere. Dr. Chase can see you now, Mr. Brown? Thank you, Mr. Brown. Family name doesn't get a lot of respect in the academic oh. community. Huh. Being kept down by the man. Very cute man. <laughs> Thank you. Abigail Chase. Paul Brown. Bill. Nice to meet you, Bill. He's so, like, flabbergasted by her appearance. George Washington's campaign buttons. You're missing the uh, 1789 inaugural, though. I found one once. Not here for the small talk. Someone's going to steal the Declaration of Independence. <laughs> I think I'd better put you gentlemen in touch with the FBI. Well, we've been to the FBI. And? They assured us that the Declaration cannot possibly be stolen. My friend and I are less certain. However, if we were given the privilege of examining the document... That sounds so sneaky. We believe that there's an encryption on the back. Of what? Cartograph. A map. They sound insane right now 
hidden items of historic and intrinsic She must be so annoyed. Oh, oh, she must be so annoyed. Imagine being so busy. If you can't get enough of everything you can find on this channel, on Patreon, I post a bunch of exclusives. I just finished Mandalorian Season 3, Fargo Season 1, and Better Call Saul fully. So if you want to only subscribe for one month and just watch it all together, you can join now and just get all the links and watch all those shows immediately. This month, I also start with The Wire season one, and I also will be watching Andor. One of the exclusive movies will be Parasite, so I hope you can find something to your liking. There's also other bunch of stuff posted on there already that you can watch, so enough stuff for you to enjoy it together with me through February. Let's go back to the movie. Mr. Brown, I have personally seen the back of the Declaration of Independence and had no map. So cool that she's actually seen it. Yeah, girl, I was it's gonna invisible. say, but it's invisible, like sound even crazier. <laughs> what led you to assume there's this invisible map? We found an engraving on the stem of a 200 year old pipe. Owned by Freemasons. May I see the pipe? We don't have it. Oh yeah, did it blow up as well? Did Bigfoot <laughs> It was nice meeting you. <laughs> no, the Loch Ness monster ate it. Uh, you know, that really is a nice collection. Must have taken you a long time to hunt down all that history. <gasps> we have music. Romantic music. There's a vibe. I was thinking, what if we go public, plaster the story all over the internet? It's not like... Oh, it's right there. I'm gonna steal it. What? Oh, God. <laughs> I'm gonna steal the Declaration <laughs> of Independence. Oh. Kids, this is not a good idea. Prison. <laughs> Huge. You are gonna go to prison, you know that. Yeah, probably. Shaw sure was right. It's like stealing a national monument. It, it's <laughs> well, he, the paper is a bit tinier. It can't be done. Let me prove it to you. Oh man, I really want to travel to America and like all the history and just, oh. Over 20 million books. And they're all saying the same exact thing. Listen to Riley. <laughs> I love this guy. It is surrounded by guards and video monitors. And beneath an inch of bulletproof glass is an army of sensors and heat monitors that will go off if someone gets too close with a high fever. Yeah. <laughs> it is lowered into a four foot thick. Wow, that's so cool. Is that true? Vault. That automatically gets lowered. The preservation room. Enjoy. Go ahead. Do you know what the preservation room is for? Delicious jams and jellies. <laughs> I've been playing way too much Stardew Valley lately. <laughs> when the case needs work, they take it out of the vault, directly across the hall, and into the preservation room. The best time for us or Ian to steal it would be during the gala this weekend. Of course. And the guards are distracted by the VIPs upstairs. But we'll make our way to the preservation room where there's much less security. This might be possible. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> nice transition. What was that? Label? Silence dog food? What? He's gonna give that to her. Yeah. I hope it's not from Stan. Thanks for listening, Paul Brown. If it wasn't in this context, that's so nice and thoughtful. Because what do you give to someone who probably has everything already? Oh. Did he get her fingerprint off there? Or... Oh, oh, oh. Poor grandma is going to be pushed away. Oh no, yeah, she's gonna leave marks on the coat now. It's gonna be interesting to see if he has another plan or like completely something similar. Oh. He's gonna use the big guns, it seems. Ben, are you sure that we should do I don't have time for your opinion. Damn, imagine if it's so easy. 
Although I saw something about someone, like it's a long time ago, who got everywhere in and he was like, you just always need to act like you belong and it's crazy what you can get done. And that's smart, right? Because all of us would probably look like super guilty all the time. So he doesn't always die in the beginning of the movie or show. Oh my god. <laughs> I love how they're completely in style. And what a lovely dress. Thank you for your wonderful gift. You know, I really couldn't accept something like that normally, but um, I really want <laughs> I love that that's the worst excuse ever. I should say no to these things, but... <laughs> Oh, uh, Dr. Herbert, this is Mr. Brown. Hi. Hi there. <laughs> Who's the stiff? What, here, why don't you let me take that so you can take that off his hands. Thank you. And again, more prints. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Good night. What an interesting fellow. <laughs> I bet Stan doesn't like him. That is like a race. Oh. Nice. Poor guy. I heard that if you're allowed to wear a taser, they actually tested on you earlier in like your education. So you are aware of how much you would hurt someone. So to not use it lightly, which I find very interesting. Hmm. This is also not going to help the other guys, maybe. A E F D L O R D Y. Okay. Oh, God. Gavray. It's Valley Forge. Valley Forge was a turning point in the American Revolution. I think this knowledge is also very sexy, so yeah. Not that Nicolas Cage is my type or anything. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Which is still great because they have their own feed that they they're still a fake one. <laughs> kind of. Hey, you here? What the f? He's just the Declaration of Independence. He's only doing that because he knows he won't show through it, right? He's not that of a savage. What? <laughs> I love her dress. Oh, wow. No, not yet. I can just go like, hi, goodbye. <laughs> Are you trying to steal that? Oh, God. Oh, um. It's $35. Damn, that's a lot. These museum shops are crazy. <laughs> I'm sorry, too. We take Visa. Imagine if it doesn't work out for something as stupid as that. Then the, uh, the huge decoration lady behind you. Don't look back. Get in and move. What's that? Who's in there? Really? That's Kevin and get in the van. <laughs> oh, that cringy feeling when you watch a movie like this and everything's going wrong and like they can never just get it and walk out and no trouble. Ooh. Did you go to party? It's a fake one, right? He actually gave her a fake one. Oh, really bad. I'm really thinking at this point that he gave her the real one. I assumed not, but like, is he really just wanting to save her? Oh my god. So that's the only reason we're not letting her fall, right? That's bad. 
my god! I did not expect it to get this bad this quick. Oh, oh, oh. All right, I'm back. I'm back to believing that they got a fake one and she's saved and they're gonna be like, hell yeah, and it's gonna be a hell no. Lol. Owned. I don't get how he got a second one though. He couldn't even pay for the first one. They don't have it. Okay? Now, can you please stop shouting? Monster immediately put it out of his hands. Actually, I had to pay for the souvenir and the real ones, so you owe me $35 plus tax. <laughs> We got a tip several days ago that someone was going to steal the Declaration of Independence. There was no file opened. We uh, didn't find the information credible. Ooh. How about now? I cannot imagine that they wouldn't even document the tip info. Even if you discard it then. You're that family with the conspiracy theory about the Founding Fathers? It's not a conspiracy theory. You're not liars. You're insane. Hey, uh, we just saved your life, so you're welcome. <laughs> I've got some duct tape in the back. <laughs> No, that won't be necessary. She won't be in any trouble. Promise you won't be in any trouble? I promise. This is so silly. Dad. Oh, he's not gonna love this. Where's the party? I'm in a little trouble. Is she pregnant? <laughs> this better not be about that dumb treasure. <laughs> well, he got a surprise for you. I need the silence to good letters. I have a job, a house, health insurance. At least I had your mother for however brief a time. Oh. You disappoint me, Ben. Well, maybe that's the real Gates family legacy. Sons who disappoint their fathers. <gasps> wow, that's a low blow. Take your troubles with you. He's just a man trying his best, you know, and he I clearly went through a lot. The Charlotte. You mean she was a ship? Yeah, she was beautiful. Yeah, she is no more. <laughs> but we found another clue that led us here. Yeah, that, and that'll lead you to another clue. The legend was invented to keep the British occupied searching for buried treasure. Treasure is a myth. I refuse to believe that. If there's something on the back of the declaration, I'm all like, yeah, there's a treasure. I'm a bit skeptical still, but yeah, that was a cool ship. Now, if this thing's an invisible ink, how do we look at it? Throw it in the oven. Oh, no. Nah. Ferrosulfate inks can only be brought out with heat. Imagine if they burn it on accident. I'm so getting fired for this. Well, it's a big adventure. I feel like fired might be not the only punishment. <laughs> Man, I feel like I'm looking at a pregnancy test. Is there a second line? Mm -hmm. <gasps> oh boy, there it is. <laughs> I love how dad is like, oh, I don't care, but it looks interesting. Will somebody please explain to me what these magic numbers are? For ordinance? It's an Avondale classic. Oh, that's right. Oh, okay. <laughs> Each of these three numbers corresponds to a word and a key. Usually a random book or a newspaper item. Oh. Dad, where are the letters? You know, it's just by sheer... On the happenstance that his grandfather Dad. even found them. They he doesn't have them anymore. Dad, where are the letters? I don't have them, son. Yikes. What? I don't have them. <clears throat> <laughs> the middle finger first. They? Oh my God. Oh my God. I know. Oh my God. It's the Declaration of Independence. And it's very delicate. You stole it. Borrowed it. There is no treasure. I wasted 20 years of my life. And now you've destroyed yours. Oh. Nice. They asked the kid to check it. Yeah, best 20 books ever made. You can still make a mistake, right? It's a kid. One more dollar. Thank you. Go get the last four letters. Damn, one dollar. It's an investment. <laughs> I hope if they find a treasure, the kids get a bit more. No way that he's gonna realize the kid is involved. Stow. Sweet. He already know the answer, so he left. Now, pass and stow, of course, <laughs> referring to the Liberty Valley. Why, why do you have to do that? Well, Give him a break. It's so good that he found this out. 
tell me what you say, my friend. S-C-O-W. Yahoo search. Where did the time go? Does anybody use Yahoo search? Or do you use Google or Bing? Does that still exist? Oh god. You only have one minute also, right? So... Oh, damn, why am I getting so invested in this? <laughs> I'm really excited. I think this is super cool. Early American X-ray specs. Is that why you see like Benjamin a Franklin invented sun? Like these. I think he invented these. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that, okay, you guys are probably way better familiar with those. But I remember like when I was very little, we did to watch a film or something. Wow. It says here at the wall, spelled with two E's. Take a look. <laughs> oh no. Time to get moving. If they get out of their side right now, they're good, right? Because they don't have any idea about the next clue. Meet me at the car and call me if you have any problems. Like if we get caught and killed? Yeah. That would be a big problem. If I get killed, I'll let you know. <laughs> <He's> <laughs> the poor fellow. If you're not a steak, you don't belong here. I am a steak. I'm just trying to Rare. hide from my ex-husband. Honey, stay as long as you like. Yes, I love that. Do you want something? Shut up. She's like, yeah, he's a prick. I see why you left him. Girl got you back. The construction worker was like, damn, dude, chill. Wow, he literally jumped after it. Would you ever do that? Not me. Oh my God, the Declaration of Independence is rolling on the streets. Nee, yeah, it's gonna... Of course. He cannot do anything without the spectacles, and he doesn't even know you need the spectacles, right? So, aren't we good? Oh, damn. Like, he's being followed by everybody. He's your father's scar. <laughs> Rub it in. That's some story. It's the same story I tried to tell you guys before the declaration was stolen. By you? No, by Ian. I stole it to stop him. <laughs> I did it alone. Dr. Chase was not involved. And Ian still ended up with the Declaration of Independence. Because of you. Well, or you, if you had stopped them. Invisible treasure map. So what'd it say? Here at the wall. Just another clue. It looks like Ian Howe could be a false identity. Oh, what? I want you to meet me on the flight deck of the USS Intrepid. You know where that is? New York. And bring those glasses you found at Independence Hall. Oh. Yeah, I know about the glasses. How does he know? You can have it, and the glasses. I'll even throw in the pipe from the Charlotte. Oh, it's not blown up, nice. I hope your agents are all under four feet tall and wearing little scars. <laughs> Otherwise, you ain't gonna know they're here. <laughs> I forgot if I already said, like, I feel like I did, but then I don't know. That I'm recording this in the week of his birthday, Nicolas Cage, and there was an article in the newspaper. Apparently he's in huge debt, and he kind of needs to keep making movies to get out of it, which is quite sad, right? He probably made so much money and has still got in trouble. Wow! <laughs> Did you bring the glasses? I don't know. Tell me what's happening here. Ask your girlfriend. She's the one calling all the shots now. <laughs> If this is gonna get a romantic twist, then he's gonna get a whole life of listening to her. <laughs> we made Ian believe he could have the treasure. It was the only way we could get this far. He's here. Did he not like split it? No, like they not right, but I think Ian would do that. Say like, yeah, yeah, we're gonna split, right? And then use their knowledge. And then like he did on the Charlotte. Oh, Lenny! Papa! That's sad. It really is remarkable. Take a look. And they're like, <clears throat> Parkington Lane. Why would the map lead us here then? 
Take us somewhere else. Just another clue. Dad. <laughs> Ignore me. It's fine. Street inside the chair. Not inside. Beneath. Beneath. Let's go to the catacombs. Is that a word in English? Damn. What's the word called for violating a grief in English? Like, it's a crime, I think. Or felony, I don't know. Like, what? He was almost smiling. Okay. Who wants to go down the creepy tunnel inside the I would need first? the treasure. Nope. Fine. <laughs> Dad is like, I'm curious now as well. Wow. Okay. Wait a sec. Never happened to me. <laughs> you need to get the lead role, man. Apply for a movie and get the lead role. You'll get the kiss. Damn, what if the whole place starts burning down? I should be less negative. I'm just not a hero. Okay. What is that? I hope the graveyard is not falling on top of them. Subway. Oh! <gasps> That's deep. Ooh! Oh my god. Oh, There's a lot of swinging and dangling going on. I'm oh, sorry, I, I dropped you. I had to say the declaration. No, don't be. I would have done exactly the same thing to you. Well, they're made for each other. I would have dropped you both. Freaks. <laughs> nice. Everybody would have dropped everybody. Love is in the air. <laughs> I'm so nervous. I don't know why this movie has really grabbed me. I really want to know what the treasure is. If it's still there, what if it's just some wise words and the wise words are the treasure and they're all like, oh, damn. <laughs> so where's the treasure? This is it. We came all this way for a dead end. Guys, chill. Maybe there's a clue somewhere. I'm thinking the same thing. Maybe he's just lying. It's part of Freemason teaching. Let him come down first. He's gonna leave without you and the knowledge. The old North Church in Boston where Thomas Newton hung the lantern in the steeple. Is he gonna leave them? Like they know so much more than he does. What if there's another clue? Hey, hey, you, you have to take us with you. So you can escape in Boston. See if them. What if there's another clue? Yeah, that sentence. I don't know right where to find you. Oh boy. This was bad negotiation, damn it. There's another way out. Where? Through the treasure room. My guy's face are like, Ooh. <laughs> Oof. This room is real, Ben. And that means the treasure is real. Oh, God. Is there a second movie? <laughs> you found what they left behind for us to find and understood the meaning of it. You did it, Ben. For all of us. And I've never been so happy to be proved wrong. Oh, look, his dad is so proud. <gasps> no, it's the, the, yeah, the pipe. Then what if you had not brought it along? Oh, this is so exciting. <laughs> Oh. Yay, retirement! <laughs> so, how do you get that out? What? Now what? Who are you gonna let know? This is sick. Oh man, this is so cool. Loving the revelation as well with the fire. <laughs> Riley just wants to go home. You know, the Templars and the Freemasons believed that the treasure was too great for any one man to have, not even a king. <gasps> he wants to keep it hidden too. The Founding Fathers believe the same thing about government. 
I figure their solution will work for the treasure too. Give it to the people. Divide it amongst the Smithsonian, the Louvre, the Cairo Museum. Okay, or that. It's so funny because a movie like this is so cool and on the right track, but imagine how dumb you look if you're in the wrong spot. You've got you on kidnapping, attempted murder, and trespassing on government property. I'm surprised Sean isn't there, right? At the end to go to prison. <laughs> Poor guy. Maybe would have rather went to prison. Ah! Seems like a pretty good amount still. Damn. <laughs> oh, oh, Mrs. Stern. I made something for you. You did? Mm -hmm. What? A map. Where did you leave me? I was gonna make a very mature joke. <laughs> it leads to something you clearly have probably finding. You know what? I enjoyed this movie a whole lot. I really did. <laughs> and if you think about it, the concept is super easy. You just have this treasure hunt and clues and riddles. But I just, oh, I'm such a sucker for that. And it really, yeah, grabbed me. It wasn't over the top and it. There was a little bit of action, a little bit of romance, a little bit of humor. It was really good. I just had such a good time. I really enjoyed it. And I also feel like you can watch it with younger kids or something where you want a nice Sunday afternoon movie. This was a lot of fun and I enjoyed it. Nicolas Cage, good job. Everybody else, good job as well. I feel like though, I don't have much more to say. It wasn't like an in-depth uh thing or anything but oh so much good fun and in an adventure movie if you can have, guys have other movies that are about treasure hunting or codes or riddles or anything like it that is the same kind of way let me know because i always love these things and in games as well if you have these puzzles i love those things in general a lot and this one it was really cool not too long winding sometimes but also not too quick and very really fun twist in the end so that's all good i'm glad they made it i'm glad they found it the gates family has been restored and they're all living nicely with their one percent so that is great i hope you enjoyed this reaction if you did make sure to like and subscribe commenting helps out the channel a lot and if you want to see the full reaction as always you can find that over on patreon where i'm now going to post another poll for you to vote for the next movie enjoy your day and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye